Welcome to Dr. O Solutions. My name is Oleg Nikishin. I am ND, Master of Science, and in this video we will cover water ozonation. But first, uh, please engage, like, like us down below, uh, click the bell if you want to know and you want to have uh, updates from our uh, channel. We have a uh, medical ozone research group on the Facebook. Uh, please join the group, ask the questions, share your opinions, and you can and interact with other members as well. For ozonating the water, we, we have uh, quite a few solutions for you. We have a simple product, very inexpensive. We have a basic and advanced uh, product. Uh, most of you already have uh, and bought the kits for ozonating the water. In this video, I will show you how to properly ozonate your water and we will test live ozonated water. In, um, in the kits, uh, we have uh, standard neck jars and the, ma and the large mason uh, jars. That's what we uh, developed. So that's when you order the kit, that's how they will come. The mason jar you will buy in any grocery store. And, and this attachments, that's what you will get. It simply attaches in the top of the mason jar, in the standard neck jar. Uh, you could have uh, in the volume of the water from uh, one, uh, um, one cup up to one liter, a uh, quarter of gallon. For the large mason jars kit, again we supply you the mason jar kit. You go in the grocery store and this kit can accept the jars up to half a gallon. So you fill up the water and you simply ozonate the water that I will show you how to properly ozonate the water. In the simple solutions and very inexpensive we have a basic bubble. As you can see uh, this kit come with the structure. Uh, it, it, attaches directly to our ozone generator, the, the ozone bubbles through the water and then got destroyed in uh, ozone uh, destructor. The basic kits and expensive kits, they do not come with, uh, with no destructor, they come and there is no glass jars, but you simply just put this in a glass container. If you're not afraid of the ozone, you attach the ozone generator and you ozonate the water. So you can ozonate small uh, jars, large jars, large cans, whatever you do, even aquarium some people do. Okay. This is a basic uh, basic stone, ozone resistant stone. And almost the same solution but this is, comes with a medical stainless steel stone. So this is a life, lifetime, it's a, it, it, uh, the lifespan for usage of this stone is a lifetime. So it's, this, it's the same, three foot long, and your procedure is uh, the same. Uh, these jars come with uh, medical stainless steel uh, stones. Uh, so we have a, a feedback uh, from you, uh, dear friends, that um, people saying our oh, stone, because this is a stone, especially this one, uh, it has micro holes in it. And this is very tiny holes. When you have any dispurity or impurity in the tank, the stone will lose uh, coloration, like silver coloration, and sometimes the pen depends on, a, uh, on accumulated uh, oxidized compounds, if this is an old medical tank that will be grayish residue. If the tank is industrial, then you will have obviously like a rust buildup. And if, so for that reason make sure so you use 
oxygen filter. So oxygen filter filter filters all impurities, and you have no problem with uh, with the stone because it's not going to be clogged up. We just developed another uh, water oil ozonator in the flask, and uh, this uh, kit comes with a regular stone, and this is flag flask. Um, the volume of the flask for ozonation, it's good, it, you could have as much as half a liter. That's what I already poured the water in and that's what I show you how to set up your water ozonation. Because it's simply more convenient, <coughs> convenient to me. Uh, so when you ozonate the water, make sure the water is pure. So I prefer to use uh, distilled water. Uh, distilled water even better than reverse osmosis or O water because it's more life, so to speak. So as you as you can see, so I pour half a liter in uh, in the in the flask. So what we will do, and at this at this point, I will connect my destructor to it. You always can buy this destructor separately. Flask doesn't come with it. Flask connects directly to our ozone generator. In, in this uh, particular uh, case I want to test it with uh, uh, medical oxygen going through a generator. It hits the flask and the, I want to set up 1.8 liter per minute. As you can see it starts already bubbling. So uh, put the next slide please for me. And I get my, my timer, and I set up the timer at 10 minutes, and it will start counting. So after 10 minutes of ozonation, we will measure uh, dissolved ozone in the water live, and you will see the results. So, but let me tell you first, um, while it's ozonating, uh, what so cons and pros of this water ozonation? Um, as I said uh, before, when you ozonate the water, make sure you use glass container because it's clean and pure. Second, for uh, ozone internal therapies, or when you drink, particularly drink the water, especially, uh, we need to have dissolved ozone concentration in two to three gammas. Dissolved ozone in the water measures the same as in the air in the gamma. When you do disinfection, when you do dental oral cavity wash or mouth wash, uh, if you have washing, um, if you want to have ozonated water from contaminated wounds, um, dental uh, canal, that's for dentists. Uh, dissolved uh, concentration uh, should be between 5 to 6 gamma. Uh, ozone is very unstable substance. That's why dissolved uh, concentration in the water has, uh, will, will vary, depends on the condition of ozonation. So there are, there are many uh, different parameters will change the dissolved uh, ozone in the water as a water temperature, water pressure, this particular there is no pressure, purity of the water, that means the contaminants in the water or water hardness. The more harder the water gets, it's harder to dissolve ozone. So ozone spreads itself between inside the water. Uh, obviously the surface of the bubblers that has been produced because this is a surface contact ozone with the water. Uh, so those things you have to keep in mind when you ozonate the water. So the conditions are not all the time the same. Uh, but uh, I'll just give you a guideline to, um, for our ozone generator in particular. Um, how much time you need, for instance, to ozonate half a liter of the water. So we are ozonating water for now almost eight minutes. 
and uh, just like I said before, uh, for the disinfection purposes, for washing, uh, for treatment, surface treatment, if you want to use it for fruits washing, vegetable washing, surface washing, or uh, mouth washing, uh, so the concentration must be between 5 to 6 gamma. Um, if, you do for if you need to ozonate water for internal ozone therapy, you're drinking it. So it has to be between 2 to 3 gamma. If you do a vaginal flush with it, uh, so it's nice to have up to 5 to 6 gamma as well. Uh, so it's nicely bubbled uh, at 8, 1, 8 liter per minute. Now let me check my timer. Uh, yes, it's almost one minute. Uh, one minute, uh, nine minutes. Nine minutes gone, so it's almost ten minutes now. So there is one trick to it: how we have to finish it. Obviously, if you ozonate more water, that means you need more time. And this is I want to show you basic rule when you use our ozonator at one eight liter per minute. So it takes about ten minutes. Uh, half, a, uh, half a liter at 1.8 liter per minute 57 gamma to reach the uh, dissolved ozone concentration between 2 to 3 gamma uh, when you're done with ozonation will be very high concentrations up on the top what you do is this you leave oxygen on but you shut generator off what's going to happen oxygen is going to push excessive ozone back to the structure and when you open up that ozone is not going to escape and hit you in the face okay now we have 10 minutes and we're gonna stop it all right what we will do now I put my uh, dissolved meter dissolve ozone meter on and let it warm up a little bit and now it's ready okay so we will do when you ozonate the water never drink from a container always pour the water to the other container so that means ozone excessive ozone will escape and you're not gonna when you drink it you're not gonna breathe it okay Smells good, smells fr like fresh ozone. Okay, that's a half a liter. I put it on the side. Oh, nicely smell. Uh, and we're gonna measure it. As you can see now, it's zero. We're gonna measure it when we stir it. So it has to be all the time in a movement. And now you can see it's 3, 3.5, depends on the temperature, as I said. Now the temperature with the water is only 20 degrees, that's why you have 3 gammas. 3.4 gammas because the water is cold. The, uh, the usually uh, we measure it at the temperature 24 to 25 uh, by Celsius. So, so that's, that's water. Uh, has dissolved ozone 3.5, 3.8. It's always fluctuates and it's, it's fine because ozone is very unstable. Uh, that's why the, we have to always, always kind of stir it in order to get the results and the results slowly fluctuating. Okay, now this is, this is water is ready uh, to be used for any of uh, your purposes. Uh, so the water, ozonated water uh, if you keep it in the fridge, it, it, it will store its own ozone for about six hours, we noticed. Uh, it's the, the, the dissolved concentration will lose its potency slowly, slowly, and in the six about hours, it's going to get the half of the 
uh, half of original um, dissolved concentration. But what we would do, we usually, if you need it, we can store it in a very cold place, uh, get the temperature up to 34, about degrees. This is a perfect for water, uh, for storage, and you probably can, can use it within, even within uh, six hours. So when you want to drink it, uh, what you should do, uh, you have to drink it in the morning, uh, usually when you want to flush your old GI tract on the empty stomach in the morning. That's the best, uh, best way to, uh, to do uh, ozone internal uh, therapies. So that's all folks, that was our presentation, how to do ozone uh, therapies at home or in your clinic. If um, you over oxidize it yourself, in other words, you drink too much water, or you expose yourself to ozone, you have a coughing, you have irritation of your um, uh, of your internal pathway, the organs. If you have some, if you feel like you're choking, if you're coughing, we love to use this product. This is BioC Plus by Biotics. Uh, this is vitamin C and the vitamin C based on the calcium and magnesium ascorbate. It's not acidic. Uh, so this is a very good product to use when you, for instance, drink too much water and you feel too much oxidation, you feel very uncomfortable. Take one gram of it right away, about three, four minutes, and you'll feel relief. At the same time, if you breathe too much of it, if you have ozone therapy and you breathe too much, you have a coughing again, take one, two, even three or four or five, you can load it as much as the five, six, six uh, tablets and you're going to stop that excessive oxidation uh, in you. Now, one, one last word. If you do any kind of therapies in the morning or, for instance, I prefer to do it uh, before noon time, uh, make sure so you do not take any vitamin C prior your therapy because if you load yourself with vitamin C and you do ozone therapies your vitamin C will neutralize your ozone in the blood because your blood will be will be loaded with antioxidants and ozone is oxidative compound so you're going to immediately neutralizing effect and you're going to not going to feel uh, the proper uh, benefits of ozone uh, therapies so that's all for this video folks again please uh, subscribe to our channel if you like to have the updates from our channel click the bell below join us on the facebook join us on the ozone therapy medical ozone therapy group on the facebook where we have many members asking the questions and share own uh, ozone therapy opinions